visited Scotland in late summer and have just come across some orange birch beliefs. Fantastic eating, so let's have a look at them. So we've come across the orange birch belete here, and as is in the name, the cap is very orange and quite bready almost. On the stem, incredibly distinctive black scales known as squamules. This particular specimen has quite a wide base, sometimes they're thinner. Let's have a look underneath. Of course being a belete, no gills. Let's see if we'll focus on that. There we are, there's the pores. And the base, bulbous, usually nibbled by slugs who enjoy this as a nighttime treat. Let's have a look at the pores. Notice how when bruised they do darken. The flesh, very white, brilliantly white, and it will darken black. Interestingly, down towards the base, if damaged, will go slightly blue. Look where we damaged the stem there. Look how dark, grey, blue, black it's almost gone. And here, an earlier damage, really blue, almost indigo. Incredibly dark blue. So I think we'll leave this one for the slugs. Here's a really young one, just beginning to pop up. Interestingly, next to some sheep poo. And over here, again, really young. Also, as with any belete, it's always a good idea to get some of the pores and give them a good spread. And that will ensure that next year, hopefully we'll have even more than we do now. This is one of the largest orange birch bleats I've ever seen. Let's have a little look at how big the cap is. There's probably there 150 mil and the stem, 73 mil. A real whopper. This one's been around for two days, so it's discolored a wee bit, you can see. But still gonna be good eating tonight. Notice it, uh, now it's been around for a bit. I cut this two days ago, it started to discolor quite a fair bit. Very foamy inside the orange birch belete. You can see the stem there, quite fibrous, quite dry. The pores have darkened a fair bit as well. All the ingredients here, the chanterelle, orange birch belete, bacon, some garlic, onions, four eggs. Notice as well that the orange birch belete is darkening yet further when it's cooked. Let's try a bit. Mmm. Unbelievable. Two mushrooms complement each other so well. 